Now I hope you can keep a secret because today's video is all about how to reach the nameless island and complete the Seeds of Stories achievement in the process. But you can't tell anyone because it's a secret location. What's up guys, I'm River Fox. welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be going through the secret island. Now just off to the northeast of Mondstadt there is an island off in the ocean which is not shown on the map, it is not going to appear anywhere until you actually go close to it. Now Completing this quest will give you the Seeds of Stories Brought by the Wind quest. And it's, it's a short mini quest that's going to give you some pretty decent rewards in the process. So I'm going to take you through all of the information you need to know to complete this quest. Now the first thing that you are going to need to do, it is recommended that you do have an Animo, a Cryo and a Pyro Hero at least in your loadout because you're going to have a few different challenges and tasks that you will need to complete once you get there. Now the first issue that you will have is it's really a long way to get to this island. So unless you have got a lot of energy regeneration then you're not going to be able to fly over there, you're not going to be able to swim over there fully. So it is advisable if you have got somebody like Kaya, the, uh, an ice character, that is going to be able to freeze the water and it will enable you to get over to this island. It will take you a fair bit of time to get over there. But once you do get there and you land on the island, it will unlock the Seeds of Stories quest. And the first thing that you're going to want to do when you get to the island is go and loot around. Now there are quite a few chests on the island and there are lots of lots of crabs as well. So make sure you collect any of those before you get started on the quest. Because when you do start the quest you're going to end up leaving the island. And you don't really want to be struggling to get all the way back there again. Now there will also be a ruin guard as well which when you first land on the island there are a couple of them which are look like they're, they're rotten you know rotting away but one of them will come alive as you go around the island so you will need to clear him off as well. So get all that done out of the way. Now when you have done all of that you're going to need to head off in the island and you will find this little camp. Now this camp is towards the north end of the map and next to the little camp you're going to see a spade in the floor and you'll also see some rocks there that you will be able to destroy. If you destroy those it's going to reveal a hole and in that hole you're going to find your ragged notebook. Now the ragged notebook is going to give you everything you need to know in order to complete the challenge. But once you've collected that, if you then go into your menu and go into your backpack and go across and find your ragged notes, I'm going to pop a screenshot up for you as well so you can see it on screen anyway. But the next part of this is that in the center of the island where all of the ruins are, you will find a ruined sundial. And once you get to that sundial, that's when you're going to start your quest. So for the rest of this part of the quest, you are going to need to change your time. You're going to need to be between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. And if you don't know, you can do this going into your menu, go over to the clock logo and you can adjust the time from there. If you do do it any other time other than between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., it won't work so you'll need to restart so make sure you do that now once you've uh, changed your time to 2 a.m this is where you are going to need to change over to your animo character because you will need to use the abilities from that of course you do have visions you are able to use your visions in order to locate things so if you use your vision it will locate four different 
orbs that you are going to need to disperse to carry on with the quest. So the first one is going to be just to your right hand side. If you're standing looking at the broken sundial on your right hand side, you're going to have this big tall pillar. If you climb up to the top of that pillar, there will be an orb up there. Just use your animo ability and that will disperse that orb. Then you need to head towards the beach. Now there will be one towards the southwest and one towards the southeast. One of them you are going to need to use your freeze ability to freeze the water in order to reach the orb. Now the next one is directly behind the sundial itself. Now you will see an immoculus there as well so do make sure you collect that at the same time. But once you've done all four of those if you then head back to the center of the island and this is where you are going to summon your boss fight. And this will be the beginning of the Eye of the Wind boss fight for you. Now you are going to need to use your abilities, try and kill this, uh, this boss off. But once it starts getting almost too dead, then it's going to suddenly dash off and go to a different part of the island. But you will also get a big wind rush appear in the center which you can then fly up high use the rings in order to boost you and get you back to the island now once you do get back to the island you are going to land at a second broken sundial now at the second broken sundial you are going to need to pretty much repeat the process you will need to set the time again back to 2 a.m in order to be able to locate and see these orbs and you will have i think it's three orbs this time that you will need to destroy each time you do destroy or disperse one of these orbs it will generate some enemies for you to kill and once you have cleared all three of them then you should get the eye of the storm back again now at this point my game kind of bugged out totally for some reason my enemies respawned halfway through my battle with the eye of the storm and then the eye of the storm itself completely froze and it was stuck in the air so i wasn't able to use any of my other abilities on it i was only able to use a bow hero and i didn't really have the right loadout at the time I had an electro bow hero which wasn't the best for it so it's it is advisable to try and set your loadout before you get started on the quest because once you've started it doesn't allow you to change your character halfway through so and if you do leave the area it will reset and you will have to do it again so make sure you do that before you go into this battle now once you have finally managed to complete and kill this eye of the storm then the quest will end and you will see a guy standing or cowering in the corner which you need to go and speak to and that will complete that quest off for you it did take me quite some time because mine glitched out and was stuck in the air that i could only use the bow hero which wasn't doing the best of damage in all fairness so it took me quite a while so i hope it doesn't bug out for you too i have spoken to someone else and it did do exactly the same for them as well so i don't know if if it's a glitch with it or or whether that is how it's meant to be but it, it is relatively straightforward as long as you know what you're doing which hopefully this video is going to help you to do because without without knowing what you have to do you could be there for quite some time so i do hope that this video does help you out if it does don't forget to hit that like smash subscribe and turn on the notification bell you'll always get updated on my content when it comes out you can always follow me over on twitter twitch and discord and i do stream quite regularly so do pop over if you can but i hope you enjoy and as always until the next time i hope you have a lovely day and stay safe my friends